I'm going to read off a list of channel terminations. There does seem to be a real um, destruction of free speech going on here. For those who have left comments, good. I'm glad this person got terminated. I couldn't stand them. You know, it's not about you. It's about the principle of free speech. And if you don't like somebody, just don't go watch their videos. It's easy. So when we have that kind of consciousness in this quote-unquote awake crowd, well, you are the type of person that is unfortunately killing off any, any hope or you just suck energy and it pisses me off. Please understand here that just because you happen to feel that somebody's a shill or somebody did this or you don't like the person, it is not about the individual personalities. It is not about how you feel. How can you write this stuff and consider yourself to be a part of the quote-unquote awake crowd? And I've been saying it for a long time. Having knowledge about what's going on, that's not the starting and stopping point. We have to do work on our individual self. We have to raise our consciousness to get us out of the personality, beyond all of the personal crap, so that we are men and women of principle, doctor of common sense, terminated again, Glenn Gennady and Net for Truth USA terminated. And some of these terminations came within the last 24 hours, or not even 24 hours, since I last posted that video last night. And some of these channels I don't know, but clearly they have been recently terminated. Jordan's channel, I don't know. Um, Anti-school, terminated. Cindy Gray, Cindy Gray did not get terminated. And um, I just recently went to her channel and it's operating. I clicked on a video and it was playing. But in a recent video that I posted, somebody said RFB got terminated and I went to their channel, or, uh, Richie from Boston's channel, and I saw that he was operating. I clicked on a video and I was able to watch it. And then he got terminated. I'm wondering if people are getting notices of terminations sooner than many of us. And if Cindy Gray goes down, look, I'm pissed that anybody is going down, but there are people that I follow, and Cindy is one of them. And as far as I'm concerned, she puts out very important information for all of us. Yes, it will upset me greatly. And I also know that there are so many people who put they're all into their channels. They have a body of work that instantly evaporates. Just, just poof, it goes. And this is such a violation of our natural rights to speak our opinion. You know, the right to free speech. And we have so many people who really don't care. And clearly, there are people among us here in the quote-unquote truth movement or uh, the awake you know, crowd who also don't care. They're happy to see people go down. Titus Frost bombards body language. Charles Walton, Infowars, terminated. And PK apparently got terminated again. 
And now his new channel, I think, is PK Talks. But here, cool. Now they just need to ban a call for an uprising with his jerky ways. Hey, cool. Um, sometimes when I hesitate, it's because I'm trying to work out the curse words in my head, just not to say them. So, Bombard's Body Language. I don't know that channel, but apparently she was reading body language. Very important. Very important tool if you can read body language. Um, so, uh, uh, the others. Santilli is getting community guideline strikes, and he'll probably be terminated. RFB was terminated. And his backup channel is RFB2. How I see it now has how I see it, how I see the world four. Because how I see it or how I see the world kept getting terminated. And it was PK Talks, I was right. Um, Any logical terminated. And, and, seems that I have uh, missed one. See me writing the words? A black child. Or the black child. Must have been terminated within the last 24 hours or a couple of days. I don't, because I watched a video of his or hers. Um, not too long ago. So, we've got a real problem. It is a war. A war against free speech. When I finally get a new channel up, I will post telling you um, what that channel is. And I'm looking into other channels. Steam it. And DTube, I guess, is a, a Steam it page where you can post videos, bit shoot, um, there's a, a lot of them. What I'm getting from people are comments where par apparently these sites have not worked out all the glitches and some sites are even hard to log on to. I wish there, there was something comparable to YouTube where we could all go. Unfortunately, there isn't yet and there's a lot of people using different sites and for those of us who are cognitively challenged <laughs> and need to keep it simple that becomes hard for those of you who left comments saying well you guys deserve it because you never got off YouTube you know or you're addicted to YouTube please it is unfortunate, but it is the reality that when people are waking up, where do they go? Do they know of BitTube? Do they know of Steemit? Do they know of DTube? Minds.com? They know of YouTube. They go to YouTube. So when you want to reach the largest audience possible, it's YouTube. We don't like it, but that's the reality. So that's why a lot of people do not go anywhere else. They're still posting on YouTube, and maybe they post videos on these other channels should they be taken down. But, you know, stop with all of this, this criticism. Um, we're in a fight for our life. And if you're not seeing it that way, then you are either not looking at the big picture and if you don't care about the principle of free speech you're still on that low level of consciousness where you know everything's about the personality you need to do some work on yourself you know there are channels that I don't particularly like um, there are people on YouTube that I have my uh, doubts about and questions but without my being able to provide evidence that this person is whatever shill, disinformation agent, or government agent, 
I keep my opinion to myself because opinions actually have weight. They influence people and very often they influence people in the wrong direction. So I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. If you don't have evidence to back up, these comments that you leave about so-and-so is this, then you are absolutely part of the problem and not part of the solution. You are absolutely someone who is actively employed at breaking down trust here where we need it badly. But there's 153news.net um, and I said steam it, I said bit shoot, dtube, busy.org, never heard of that, minds.com. So when I log in or sign up for um, a different site and get it backup channel to never lose truth, I will. I'll let you know. This is not going to stop. Eventually YouTube is just going to be the puppy cat videos, you know, the real cute ones, or people posting showing how moronic they can be, or cable TV. I didn't sign in I just went to YouTube and I saw that it was kind of taking over cable TV. So YouTube is not going to die. So those who are leaving those comments saying, you know, YouTube is shooting itself in the foot and it's, it's going to die. No, we are dying. YouTube is going to be still operating and very successfully because it's taking over TV. So I wish, I wish, I wish that there was a place that we could all go to one site, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Anyway, yeah, we're, we are absolutely in a fight for our life. And to all of those who are not standing with principle, on principle, and going with, well, I didn't like them anyway, so I'm glad. You really need to rethink what you're doing. Rethink your thinking.